Did you just ask me for candy? Are you serious? I'm in yeah. two weeks out from North Americans. I did this. We're trying to get people to lose weight. Okay, <laughs> right. You asked me for candy. Just okay. 18 Are you flaring your lats right now? Oh my God. Wait, come on. Let's see your lats. We got some. From oh, where are they? Oh, I know. Where, where are they? I can't. Let's see. But when I trained for the show. All right, that's not bad. And I, yeah. Mine's bad. I gotta work hard for this. Right. right, but you're pro. So how okay, so she works out all like all the time. Yes. Yeah, I mean, look at her. She's crazy. Anyway, this I is about you and not us, right? So let's share some of the things that we have that we know. Yes. Because we so have one week smart. out from the live fit in the wrong yes. challenge. Mm -hmm. um, look, look better in the wrong. Of course. One week. Yes, and we. Uh, think that people are afraid to sign up. We do have some sign-ups, but not as many as I think we should. Um, or maybe they don't know about it, but if you do sign up, there is support. Dawn and myself are here for you. Um, I teach a boot camp out of the Mokina store. It's called the Southside Booty Camp Babes, and you are welcome, only women, to come in and take a free class. Take a free class. We, um, it's not your typical class. We have sledgehammers, tires. We're flipping 350-pound tires. Um, there's modifications for everything. So don't be afraid. Come on in. Um, Everybody has to start somewhere. And I will organize a class for all the women who, are, who have signed up for the, for the contest. And then information will come out soon. So, what else are we doing as far as motivating people, maybe eating healthy? What types of things should people be eating? What should they be doing? Right. Do they have to have a gym membership? Isn't that, that's like the biggest question. It's like, what do I eat? A lot of times I will tell people, you know what, why don't you write down what you eat for a week and then let me look at it. And that way I can see, hey, they're not having enough protein or wow, look at all the cupcakes and cookies they're eating. Um, I think so, one thing to live by that's super important, for me it applies, for my clients it applies. Um, if it doesn't grow mold, don't eat it. So before you put something in your mouth, ask yourself, does it grow mold? The answer is no, don't eat it. Plain and simple. You don't need to be told what to eat, what not to eat. Does it grow mold? Done. And for me, um, the simplest advice I would give is to never eat a carbohydrate alone. So pair it up with a protein. And it makes you think before you eat. And it makes you um, get more protein into your diet, which will cause you to eat less of the carbohydrates that are going to you know, cause weight gain. I think a lot of people complain about healthy foods being plain, too. And it's important to remember that we have a lot of natural herbs that we can grow at home or purchase at the grocery store that we can add to our foods to make them taste better. Mm -hmm. Fresh cilantro, fresh dill, fresh right. peppers, onions fresh garlic. I mean, there are so many things that you can add to flavor your food. You don't need to use oil. You don't need to use butter. There are healthy alternatives. So just remember that when you're cooking to make your food tastier. And I like, um, the beauty of clean eating is eat all the veggies you want, you know, and when you're hungry, that sounds good. You know, eat all the veggies you want. And fruits, everybody, does that make you fat? That's not what is making people overweight. You know, if they're eating less processed foods and more food that is uh, made in nature, only has one ingredient, clean eating. I have Toxic Tuesdays in my class where we all only eat, you know, a food that has one ingredient. So not just one food, like chicken breasts and vegetables, fruit, but it can't be bread, can't be rice. The longer the ingredient list, you should probably Absolutely. stay away from it. So what about working out, too? Like, I'm getting a lot of questions about, well, I don't belong to a gym. How am I going to work out? Are there things that maybe we could be doing at home? We don't necessarily have to join a gym, right? Right. Body weight. Are you kidding me? We, I could do more push-ups than she can. <laughs> her muscles She's are bigger, funny. but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so push-ups. Start on the wall if you need to. Then go down to your knees. Once you master that, then get into a regular push-up position on your toes. Then you can have a partner or somebody hold your feet and go on a decline. I mean, you could increase it or decrease, you know, how hard it is or how easy you want it. Um, Sit-ups at home, lunges, squats, 
and on what is that program? There's some program that you have on Comcast or AT and T where you can watch videos for free. I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't watch. Them so either. okay, so sit ups, push ups, lunges, squats, jump squats. Sprints. Mountain climbers, burpees. I love burpees. Dumbbell burpees are oh even better. Oh my god! Yeah, or the kettlebell, or the ball slams. Slam the ball, jump out, sprawl, or pick it back up. And these are all cheap things that you can go to any local store and buy um, for inexpensive. Absolutely. Well, garage sales. <laughs> That's where I would go by. And for those people who do belong to gyms, I think it's important if you have a personal trainer to really keep your personal trainer updated. And personal trainers, it's very important for you guys if you know one of your clients are participating in the Lip Butter and the Raw uh, Weight Loss Challenge, really keep on them. I know sometimes we lose sight of that because we have a lot of clients, but really keep on them because it is a 12-week competition. Typically, people tend to lose interest in anything in life after right. just a few weeks because we get bored, we fall off track, Six because weeks. we fall into our old habits, mm -hmm. plain and simple. So make sure that you guys are staying on top of each other. Ask your spouse to support you. Ask your children to support you. Family, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, friends. I mean, we all have each other. Patty and right. I are supporting each other. Um, right. I mean, we, we need somebody to keep us on track. You need to be accountable, you know, and so I think... Um, if you're on your own, doing it on your own, can you do it? Absolutely. Um, in the boot camp, you're accountable to these women. You know, you show up every week. If you're not there, I'm going to write on your Facebook, MIA. So um, I'll make sure that you're okay. Um, and like, you're, I think January, people start working out. The first six weeks of February, everyone quits. You're not giving your body enough time to show the results. It takes six weeks just for your brain to send neurological signals to your muscles to grow. Then, the second six weeks, you're gonna to start to see results. People give up way before that. So, start out easy, and you're in it for 12 weeks. That's it, 12 weeks, that's all you have to dedicate. It's called working out because it's work. You know, and you can either work hard now, mm -hmm. or you can, you know, work hard later, with diabetes and obesity and, you know, all the things that go with being overweight Definitely. and unhealthy. Definitely. So, um, really to wrap it up for today, you guys have one more week to sign up for the Live Better Than Raw Get Fit Challenge. It's a weight loss challenge. The winners, um, one male, one female, it will be an overall percentage of body weight loss. So, whether you're 100 pounds or 400 pounds, 4 pounds and 40 pounds loss, it's still the same. You're still equal. <laughs> Um, it's not pounds lost, which is some somewhere where there is some, some confusion misinterpretation is. Um, so overall percentage. Me. That was me. We love a patty. I was like, wow, that's really <laughs> pounds. Really. Um, we're here too. Patty's here. I'm here. There is Marla and Megan who are not here today, but they are also involved heavily in this. Stop in the store. Ask for our phone numbers. You can call us. You can email us. You will be given our personal phone numbers. We're here to help you. Um, we're here to see to your success because we believe in what you want to do. We've done it ourselves. We really believe in this event, um, and we'd love to see the changes. So if you're up for some changes and winning $1,000 cash, unless you don't want money, then don't worry about it. But um, stop in the store, get registered. The 26th registration will close, and the challenge will start. It will last 12 weeks, um, and hopefully we'll see you there. I think that um, make sure that fear is the number one thing that's going to keep people from not attempting it. I'm afraid to fail. I'm afraid I'm going to be the biggest one there. I'm afraid of this. I don't want people to see me. That's going to be your roadblock and you have to get through that. You have to get through what it is you're afraid of, you know, and I talk about that with my booty camp babes, you know, what is it that you're holding and carrying? carrying inside that's showing on the outside so you can uh, email me musclemom3 at comcast.net or stop in the Mokina store for more information on my classes and I'm excited for you